Hey guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Just going to do the video orientation on your Cougar fifth wheel. Uh, we'll start on the outside here, work our way to the inside. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you can reach me direct on my cell, 231-736-9162. Like I said, we'll start right here at the entrance. You'll notice you have the flip-up steps here. You'll want to make sure um, that you have clearance when you're bringing these steps up and down, that the door is all the way open. If you haven't shut just a little bit, it could catch and then wreck the uh the screen right here uh the frame on the screen door so just make sure those are all the way uh that door's all the way open when you're bringing those steps up and down passenger storage right here inside there is a power outlet and then for cable satellite if you want to hook up a television out here you can do that your in command uh brain is right here you can manually back up uh, i'm sorry manually operate the slide outs and the awning uh through that and i'll show you that when you guys get here propane tank you have a 30 pound tank on each side of the camper spare tire and your battery is in the front compartment you'll see light switches right here uh on and off those are going to be for the amber lights at the top and then also on the side of the front cab other 30 pound tank over here and then inside the pass-through storage here you have your 50, uh, 30 to 15 adapter and then also 50 to 30 adapter sewer hose and then this black coil hose is for the outside shower right here also have to winterize um, hot water bypass and then winterize so your um, winter your antifreeze will be taken right where it says winterize below that is your city water connection for the hose and then uh, tank flush just below that for the black tank battery shut off right here and then um, for the uh, um, satellite if you're going to do that or the cable tv you would plug it in right here that'll just come up from the bottom auto leveling system is right here we'll show you that when you get here as well guys and then your um solar system this is on and running you can see the batteries at 13.5 that's your um, solar controller your inverter is right here hot water tank uh, that's operated from the inside gas or electric i'll show you that when we um, go inside the camper here your 50 amp cord will plug in right on the back this is going to be for your uh, fresh water tank if you want to fill that 60 gallon tank uh, that's just behind the door there there is a two inch receiver hitch that has a 300 pound weight capacity if you want to um, either hook up a trailer a small trailer or bike rack outside shower next to that then you do have the ladder that goes all the way up to the top of the camper there going around outside um, camp kitchen right here your grill you see the gas gas line that will plug in right underneath where that yellow right there where the yellow plug is and then electric refrigerator right here awning you do have the led lights under it and then also under that is your uh, two outside speakers and i'll show you how to turn those off and on in just a bit here so we go to the inside In the kitchen here, your um, keys are around the sink. Three burner stove top right here. This will just flip up out of the way. There's your controls for the burners. This is going to be for the oven. And then this is going to be the igniter. Um, turn the legs on here. there but that's your, your spark igniter for those we're good on that this uh, switch on the end that is for lighting here if you go all the way down you can see the little light bulb that'll be for the light inside the oven microwave is pretty self-explanatory that is going to be um, when you're plugged into electricity and it just operates like you what you'd have at your house and then gas electric uh, Dometic refrigerator. 
if you keep this on automatic where it's lit up right now and on when you're plugged into electricity like it is now it'll run off electricity and then when you <clears throat> excuse me unplug it it will default and go back to gas you have your startup instructions right here but this can be very similar to what you had in your previous camper you have storage behind the the television here the straps that is in um, tow position there so it doesn't move around your Furion stereo two zones one and two one is going to be for the inside speakers you have four speakers on the inside and then two on the outside there and then the uh, fireplace right here that is electric fireplace and it is a space heater as well it will actually put out heat moving over to the theater seating you see right here you have massage you have heat you have lights lights up the cup holder and then also underneath and it is just one touch just touch it again and it'll turn everything off just inside here is the handle for the recliner the booth dinette there's storage underneath the booth and then the table will also go down into the position here to uh, make into a bed if you need it to the in command system right here i will show you um on a separate video how to operate that and we did cover that when you guys were out just the other day as well into the bathroom foot flush toilet right here you do have the travel lock for the shower door and then also right here light switch and then your uh, gfi so if you have some all that that aren't working in here make sure you check the gfi that is located in the bedroom there Again, another mounting position for LCD TV, hookups just above it. You have your vents for your AC and then also your second AC right here. Uh, with this open, that's a quick cool option. If you shut it, it will push it back through the ductwork there. Guys, that is a overview on the Cougar fifth wheel you're buying. Um, again, I really appreciate your business. If you guys have any questions or need help along the way, don't hesitate to reach out to me.